The MCU is back, baby! Loki Season 2, Episode 1, Ouroboros. Let's talk all about it. Okay, so even from the first moment of this show, I was loving it. I loved every moment of this episode. This is what I love about the MCU. This is what makes me keep coming back and saying, man, I can't wait to see more. They've, they've been on a little bit of a cold streak lately with the MCU, with the movies and the TV shows. And I was kind of starting to get worried about this whole phase and even the last phase. But with them announcing that they actually have a plan, Secret Wars and where this is all going, Kang Dynasty, that kind of gave me a little bit more faith. But with some of the recent setbacks, writer Strike and things like that, it just it reignited that fear and, and dread in my soul. But Loki season two is here and I am loving it. Once again, I'm back in the MCU and, and loving this. This is the same feeling I had when WandaVision first came out, when Loki season one first came out. And I think around that Avengers Infinity War endgame time period, I was like on a super high for the MCU. And this just brought it right back. I got to say, everything in this show is hitting from day one, from the first episode. They picked up right where they left off in season one and the production design, the acting, the casting, everything is great in this show. Everything is just hitting on all cylinders. Owen Wilson putting in work, putting in the great performance. Ki Hui Kwan is fantastic as Obi or Ouroboros and I'm loving all of his contributions all of the mysteries that are being unraveled in this show are hitting on all cylinders. Everything is just like, it's got me going. So when I was watching it last night, I was like, man, everything has kind of um, coalesced to a point where I want to know how they're going to get out of this, this uh, predicament that they're in Sylvie and Loki. And where did the TVA come from? What is Kang's purpose? What is He Who Remains' purpose? Where are they going to go with this branching timelines? And I'm a time travel guy. I love anything with time travel, time loops. You know, Back to the Future is my favorite movie of all time. So this is right up my wheelhouse, right up my alley. Uh, I normally record these episodes with Shoff. We talked all about Ahsoka, if you haven't seen it. Every episode of Ahsoka. Now on the Vactorverse, if you want to go back and listen to those. But because of a schedule, a little bit of a, a scheduling snafu, Shoff was not able to join. But he did send his regards and want me to tell you all that he loved Loki Episode 1, Season 2, Episode 1, I should say. Shoff specifically told me that Jonathan Majors is innocent until proven guilty, you blanks. He said, say that verbatim and also tell him that Ki Hui Kwan steals the show. And I couldn't agree more. Like I said, he fits right into this universe. Everything about his performance and his character, you already love him right off the bat, which if he turns out to be evil, that is going to break a lot of people's hearts. But him writing the whole manuscript, the, the handbook for the Time Variance Authority is interesting. And I want to see where they go with that. All of the stuff with the you know, pulling him out of time, the time slipping, everything that is causing this loop. And Ouroboros is a perfect title for this first episode. But all of that stuff just has me wrapped around its finger. This show has me at this point. So I want to see exactly where they go from here. I was, you know, on the edge of my seat. I was, <laughs> I had anxiety. I was like, oh, what's going to happen next? And they they took that hour uh, time limit or, the, you know, you got 30 minutes and now you got, all right, you got five minutes. Uh, the humor was hitting in this episode. All of the performances were fantastic. The chemistry between Owen Wilson and Loki is there again, once again, Tom Hiddleston. I just love being in this, spending time with these characters and you want to see them win. You want to see them have a, um, a, a W at the end of the day. So... Man, this is off to a great start. Oh, and then Sylvie, um, after the, the end credits, that was fantastic. Her being in Broxton, Oklahoma, shout out to the comics. 
being in McDonald's in 1982, which was the year I was born. So I was like, all right, this show, it, it was made for me. I'm loving everything about this. What are you guys thinking about this episode of Loki, season two, episode one, Ouroboros? Let me know in the comments down below if you had anything that stood out to you that you loved or that you hated tell me in the comments. There wasn't anything I really disliked about this episode, but if you found something, let me know. I want to discuss it in the comments down below. And speaking of the comments and things in the Vactorverse, I want to let everybody know that we now have access to all the supers. We've got super thanks, super chats, super stickers, all of those things. If you want to show some support for the Vactorverse, it helps out. I'm going to be putting some of that money towards some new equipment and upgrading in various ways. So just that money is going to go back into the Vectorverse. So just know anytime you're contributing and giving me a super and I ain't talking Dragon Ball, you're going to be helping out the Vectorverse. So thank you very much in advance, everybody. I'm loving all of your feedback, all of the Star Wars stuff that we're putting out, all of the content. We're having a great time here in the Vectorverse and I hope you are as well. See you next week for Loki Season 2, Episode 2.